the Bills hat, or the Bills for short. Along with the buds and Max's severed head, this hat was the pride and glory of traders for many years. However, as the economy of the game is ever changing, buds and bills have fallen from their high standing point. Due to being able to trade more than 8 items at once to the Steam community market, buds and bills began to lose their value. However, I'm not here to give you an economy lesson or to teach you how to trade. I'm here to tell you that there is a hat that is better than bills, and you probably already have it laying around in your inventory. So come and travel back in time to the year of 2009. The game we know and love was only two years old, and actually had regular content updates, unlike today. The Ghastly Gibbous was a hat that was awarded to a handful of players who found a secret webpage hiding on the TF2 blog site. Once those hats were gone, getting your own was quite interesting. Find a player currently wearing this blight of a headpiece and dominate them. Then you would get your own, put it on, someone would dominate you, and so on and so forth. Eventually everyone would have one, and if you didn't, you could probably ask someone to equip it and let you dominate them. This tradition continued as every Halloween update after added a new Gibbous, such as the Ghastlier and the Ghastliest. If you had the original Ghastly Gibbous, these different Gibbous types would be added as an option to your existing one and not take up a backpack slot as a new hat would. The most recent Gibbous was everyone's favorite and probably the hat most associated with free to plays, the Ghostly Gibbous. This was released in 2012 and has been the last Halloween release Gibbous to date. However, in the Robotic Boogaloo update, the Galvanized Gibbous was added basically a robot version of the gibbous itself. It could be unique, strange, or unusual, which is wonderful. However, this hat was only obtainable via unboxing, so for the sake of points I will make later, I will not include this hat on the list. The Bills hat was released in November of 2009 as a promotional item for the first Left 4 Dead game. It is an all-class hat and looks like it could fit with any military-themed set, so that's a plus. As an added bonus, it is paintable. Looking at the community market, you can easily buy a Bills hat for a little over the price of a sandwich at Subway. The vintage ones sell for a little bit higher, almost seven times the price of a regular one. This hat is often associated with the opposite spectrum of a free-to-play, a pay-to-play. Bills hats do not come in unusual strange or any other quality other than unique and vintage, and cannot be obtained by purchasing the original Left 4 Dead as that promotion ended years ago. Now despite TF2 being free to play, you can buy weapons that either track kills you get over time, track a kill streak you rack up in one life, or both. Weapons can even be unusual thanks to the newer updates, offering unusual weapon skins and unusual war paints. Buying these items gives no advantages, as even buying unlockable or droppable weapons isn't a surefire way to win. Stock items statistically have the best attributes of any weapon in the game. Unlocks trade things like damage dealt for a bigger clip, or slower move speed for more damage resist, stuff like that. And now that we know the history of the Bills and the Gibbous hats, I'm going to tell you why I think the Gibbous is better than the Bills. Let's start with the Gibbous. First off, it's free. You get it simply by playing the game and dominating another player who's wearing it. For a new player, this may take some time, but assists count towards dominations, so playing Medic is a viable way to do this. Finding someone with a Gibbous might be a bit harder, most players have a bad time when wearing the hat, such as being called a noob, kid, free to play, so on and so forth, so they decide not to wear it. Other players, such as myself, have a gibbous or gibbi, is that the, is that, would that be more than one gibbous? Anyway, gibbi that we love and often wear them in game. This can sometimes cause other players to wear a gibbous if they see another few wearing it, kind of like a pack mentality. This gives the newer players opportunities to snag it for themselves. Then they will also most likely have a can of paint and maybe a name tag if they joined up during the Smithsmith season, and might even paint the gibbous and name it, adding to their affection to the hat. I still have my gold painted gibbous from years ago, and wear it often when I'm Moonlight as a free to play. So a brief recap, it's free, it's easy to get, and it's customizable. So how can this hat possibly be bad? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. It's a gibbous, do I really need to say anything else? Coupled with the fact that the Pyrovision goggles and the Mercenary Badge are most likely sure to end up in our little free-to-play's 50-slot inventory, he's gonna blend into the crowd of Jose Pablo Gonzalez 2006 at gmail.com clones pretty darn fast. It also doesn't help that the hat is an all-class, which means nearly every single loadout in every single class is gonna have it. So, 9 classes and 4 loadouts each, that's almost 36 gibbous, gibbi, whatever. I don't know, it's a lot of hats. Secondly, people will make fun of you for it. I know I said this before, but it's true. You'll be called a noob if you wear it. 
On the flip side, this is also a good thing because players might underestimate you, and then you can probably kill them and taunt. Be that one goddamn piece of shit scout. Well, that cut off my chances of getting monetized. Scrap TF, I'm gonna be big, you know you want in on this. Now onto the pros of the Bills hat. Honestly, it looks really cool. Berets are some of the best looking hats out there, both in game and in real life. They symbolize strength, honor, and duty. Everything a soldier main knows nothing about. Oh yeah, shoot the ground and kill someone. What a load of garbage. I don't know why I see this hat on soldier all the time. I mean, like, in the lore, he wasn't even a soldier. He flew himself to Europe during World War II, or was it after? I can't remember. And just started killing people left and right. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked again. The Bill's hat is also paintable, and you can use your name tag and description tags on it. Now, what could the downsides to this hat possibly be? Well, let me tell you something, there's a lot of them. Well, besides the price tag, there really isn't one. Sure, it doesn't help you stand out when you join a game and see the entire team with them on, all painted different colors and either named after some famous army dude's quote, or paired with the Max's head, I'll talk about you later, to form some sort of Sergeant Dire Wolf furry OC from DeviantArt. I'm not here to bash on this hat, but I feel like it actually has less personality and unique appeal than the Gibbous. It's military themed, like so many hats in this game. The Fortunate Son, the Shelmet, Soldier Stash, both of those World War II hats for Heavy and the Medic. The only hat that even looks like the Gibbous is the Scotsman Stovepipe, and I've never seen one of those things in my life, and I've nearly been playing for 2,000 hours. So if you want to fit in with the rest of the SEAL Clubbers, then go ahead and put this thing on. Wow, I suppose I wasn't being entirely fair for the two hats, now was I? I just have a soft spot for the Gibbous, as it makes me remember the old days of playing TF2 on my mom's laptop and not being able to kill anyone at 3 frames per second. Then again, judging from my footage, I probably would have been better off keeping that old laptop. I get worse frames than a PowerPoint presentation made by a kindergarten child. Uh, <laughs> that was... that was supposed to be funny. Someone cue the laugh track. <laughs> Well, that's all there is to say about this topic. To sum it up, the gibbous is free and the bill's hat isn't. Money is good and being poor and Irish isn't. The gibbous comes in more styles, is easier to obtain, can fit with the month we are currently in, that being October, or at least when the concept for this video came up. And it has a robo version. The bill's hat costs money, makes you look tryhard and sweaty like a pub stomper on Hightower, and can't have any styles other than its own. Also, everyone puts it in their SFM posters. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, Flashy here. Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know I have three videos planned for the future, but I want to know what you guys want to see next. I put a straw poll in the description, and you can tell me what you want to see, and I will make that video soon. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Flashy out.